Hello, my name is Max and welcome to installing and modifying a template in OpenCart. After finding a theme that you want to use online and you download the zip file, one of the biggest challenges facing you is the proper installation of the template. One of the things that you may hear me say is that I call a theme a template and a template a theme. So don't let that confuse you. They're pretty much the same thing. The main thing that you want to look out for when you're searching for a template is you want to get the right version. For instance, if you're running OpenCart 1.3.1, you don't want to get a template that is running 1.5.1. So it's important that you find the right version for your the software that you're running. And how you can find that out is in your administration panel right here at the bottom. Uh, you can see the version of OpenCart that you're running. So you can get the appropriate theme. Next we're going to talk about unzipping the template. Now after you've downloaded uh, the zip file, you want to extract it into a file that is empty. So whenever you go to extract all files, make sure that the file that you're extracting it to is an empty file. And I do know that uh, this a file here it's going to create a file for me and I will have it create the file so that I see that the um, the only thing here are the files that I need for my theme installation if you had extracted the file into a folder that had items in it it would have been too confusing like finding a needle in a haystack to find your files that you're supposed to be uploading to your server now I found a typical theme it's called carbon and after unzipping the file I will look for an installation file they're usually easy to find I see that there's a PDF here I'm gonna go ahead and double click this PDF and we're going to follow the instructions on here step by step to get the new theme into this website here called a1sold.com and you'll see that this is the default uh, by OpenCart uh, the default has a lot of great features in it but uh, we want to install a different theme uh, different theme background and that's what we're going to do next we're going to find this install file and double click it and we see that the installation it tells us to unzip the carbon and open cart uh, version 1.5.1 uh, template zip file now we see that we're going to uh, transfer the contents of the upload folder on your open cart site he says do not worry you can copy the entire catalog directory straight to the server and nothing will be overwritten all the files will be placed in the correct locations now what he's saying is, is as long as you you get your files in the right uh, context or in the in the right line and upload them they're just going to automatically be put in the same location so let's uh, do this step by step now for those of you that are not familiar with FTP programs or uh, the Windows FTP you can refer to the other lesson the other video tutorial that will show you how to uh, upload files with FileZilla or your Windows FTP program but what we have here is this little box here on the right this is what our website that we have uh, on our WAMP server which is like a website and the one on the left here is where the theme is now he said the contents of the upload file so what you would want to do is go to the contents and these are the two files that you would upload notice this one has catalog over here we have catalog image and then over here we have image so basically we would take those files right here catalog and image and train upload them to our server and then you're going to get something like this that the destination already contains a folder named catalog uh, do you want to merge the folders uh, I'm gonna say yes we're gonna have those folders merged together and now the contents are now uploaded to my server so we'll go on to the next step but before we do I want to emphasize that you uh, that 
you're not going to upload the upload folder. You're just going to upload the contents of the upload folder and overwrite these. Okay, so whether you're using FileZilla or your Windows FTP program, uh, that's what you want to do. Okay, so let's go look at his next step here he has for us. It says, go to the admin panel of your OpenCart site and log in. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's go to our admin panel and we're going to go ahead and log in. The next step is go to System Settings, Your Store, Edit, Your Store. So let's take this one step at a time. Go to System, Settings, Your Store, Edit, and then let's look at the rest of his instructions. Store and select Carbon from the drop down, down template select box. And that would be right here. See, we select Store and then see Carbon. We're going to select that and we see that right there. And let's go on. And the next thing he's going to have us doing is we're going to be going to extensions. So, but uh, one thing he fails to do is tell you to select save. So select save. And then let's go to our store and refresh and see if we can see any changes. And absolutely, we're starting to see the, the different theme background that we have here. Now the next thing he wants you to do is he wants you to go to extensions, modules, slideshow, and edit. And you can find that in the admin panel. We go to extensions, go to modules, and we go down here to slideshow. One of the things that's kind of hard is scrolling clear across, but what we'll do is we'll click edit. Now if, it, if the, the slideshow wasn't already in place, we would have to install it. But now we're going to click edit like he says. And set the slideshow width to 960 and the height 400. So we want to set these dimensions to 960 and we want the height to be 400. And let's see what else he says here. You can now select which banner you would like to show and then edit the banner images and system design banners. Okay, so once again, he failed to tell you a few things here. We're going to choose the home layout we want because we want to be in the home. And the content, we're going to have it be at the top, status enabled. And this, we can sort order like if it's 0, 1, 2, 3 because of the other modules that are in this program here we would say like best sellers if we want best sellers and we could give that an order so if we wanted best sellers to show first and we wanted the uh, the slider to show second we would put one and then two here so that's one of the things that are, are pretty handy about this so let's see what he wants us to do um, we want to go to system design banners so let's go to System, Design, Banners. And then here we see the different banners that we can use. Uh, we are, of course, using uh, the manufacturer's banners that we already have installed. And here they are. We can remove these or, or add more. Um, let me see here. Let's go ahead and go to... We're actually using the Samsung tab. I'm sorry. For, this is this banner right here. Let me click refresh since we resize the images and you'll see now we got a nice uh, it's lining up with the rest of the um, website there as far as the content goes and you'll see that what happens is this banner will continue to change as far as uh, if you had like another banner that you wanted to add you could add another banner but you would want to make sure that you keep with the sizes that he told you the 960 by 400 now the next thing he wants you to do is go to extensions modules featured and edits so let's go there let's go to extensions modules and then here's the featured now notice we haven't installed it yet so we've got to install it and then click edit and let's see what he says here and set the image width to 160 and the height to 125 so let's add that 160 um, 125 
He said, make sure that the layout is set to home. So let's make sure it's on the home page. Uh, content top or bottom. Now let's put the content on the bottom. And we'll click save up here. Now what we want to do is in this featured module, if you go to the modules, just so, just so you know, uh, go over to, to Featured and click Edit, and we want to start adding products. So let's see if there's any products with A. Okay, we're going to add that. Uh, any products that start with B? Possibly, no. How about S? Oh, yeah, there we go, Samsung. Um, let's try S again. Supposed to add 10 products. We'll see if we could get them. Let me add these. So I added them all there, and I'm going to click Save, and then we're going to go to the store, and let's refresh and see what happens. And we can see that underneath here we have the featured products in our store, and they're showing up just fine there. Now he told us to to do 10. Now the reason for that is you notice we have 11 here. So and it kind of makes this little guy here be down here all by himself. So if we go to the uh, the featured and click edit, uh, we can just remove one of those so that we have a nice symmetrical website there, and we can see that all of them are just in order and that looks so neat and clean. Now let's see what he has to say next about uh, the modules. Remember you could stop and pause the uh, video at any point in time that you need to catch up. So um, let's go ahead and uh, go to step seven here. It says go to extensions, modules, carousel, and then edit. So let's uh, make those steps. Go to extensions, modules, and then here's the carousel. Now we see that it's already installed. He wants us to click edit and set the banner to the manufacturers to the layout to home and the image width to height to 120. So let's make sure that this is to home and the image width is 80, the height is 120. He wants us to set it to. And so let's make sure. It says you can now edit the manufacturer's banner system in, design, in system design banners. So what, one of the things that we want to do is we want to click save here. And we have want to go to system design and banners. And it looks like, let's go here to our store and refresh. And this is the little carousel. If you notice, it got a little bit bigger. And what, as we can scroll through here, and click on onto a product. Of course, it's not going to be live on the local server, but uh, you can uh, very easily see that you can scroll through and shop by brand here. And then, of course, you can edit the uh, manufacturers right here. And you can see that these little pictures right here are the ones that he's talking about. Now, you notice that these links, you can make these links go anywhere. And you could give it a title, a link, and then, of course, you know, you can browse for files and upload an image. Or um, you can have different images. Or you can uh, simply remove the, uh, um, the product all, all, or the category altogether. But you want to make sure that you click save on everything that you do so you don't lose your work. Okay, now let's take a look at the next step that he wants us to do. He says open uploads, catalogs, view, theme, carbon, template, common, footer, TPL. So he's speaking here of the folder in, on your server. So we'll, we'll, let's put his instructions right here so we don't get confused. Go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so they're easy, easier to see. So he's telling us to go to Uploads, Catalog, View, Theme, Carbon, Common, let's see here, Now see he left something else out here because in our theme it's a little bit different. So we want to click template and then common. 
and then see footer.tpl that's where we want to go so we go in here to footer.tpl and we want to open this now I of course I'm going to open this with Adobe Dreamweaver because that's my FTP editor and I can see uh, this information here. Now my FTP editor is transferring the, or uh, uh, making it so I can see it in design view but in code view he's telling you to uh, edit the sections between H3 and H3 tags so where more information here where you can say hi there this is Max. Oh, let's see. Take my caps off there see what I'm doing and we'll go ahead and change the uh, paragraph this is a lesson on installing themes and open cart okay and what we're going to do is just click save and we'll go ahead and it says edit the par paragraphs, the, the P tags and then upload the footer.tpl to the server location and the catalog view theme uh, carbon templates common and then it says go to the system settings your store edit image and image and upload your logo to the store recommended size is 80 pixels by 300 pixels so let's go ahead and complete us uh, uh, step 8 there and we'll let's go to our store and let's scroll to the bottom here and it says more information here let's refresh this and we can see that there's a little bit of editing here that we've done this is a lesson on installing themes in open cart and you can see that there was a, a little bit of editing going on there in the file so if, again if we wanted to change uh, you know a little bit more of that that we could go ahead and change this and just say this is another change and hit save and then of course upload it to your server and if you would go you'll notice that this text right here is the text that I just edited notice it will change when I click refresh and so I said this is another change so that's how you edit the footer in this particular template and the last thing that he has going on is if we go to uh, system settings your store edit image so let's go to system settings your store edit and then we go to image we see here that we have uh, an image I'm just going to leave it a1sold.com there but if you wanted to change it you could upload an image to your image file and then of course uh, you could change the category size uh, he, uh, let's see if he has a recommendation on there and it's 80 pixels by 300 pixels and that's where you would change uh, that, uh, the, uh, the file size image but you could you could see here that you could change all the image files the category image the product thumb uh, image size product image uh, pop-up size and then so on and so forth but those are all the different sizes of the images so I hope this uh, tutorial was informative and I, I hope you got something out of it and we're going to go on with the next tutorial is maybe you want to change the colors the background colors in this how do you do it so that's what we're going to go talk about in the next video and uh, this is Max with A1 Website Pro if you have any questions comments or concerns don't hesitate to email me or